Tonight, a ducktail woo, <laughs> comes to us from Lake Bemidji via an amateur wildlife photographer with a gift for capturing beauty. It was last month, close to the shoreline of Lake Bemidji, where photographer Brent Cizik looked through the viewfinder on his camera and couldn't believe his eyes. Ducks in a row. One, two, ten, thirty? How many, he thought, is that? Brent snapped as many pictures as he could, but all it would take was one, this one capture that captured us all. The duck, a common merganser, leading her flock of 76. 76. Even to those who are used to the sight of ducks in a row, this was a rarity. Well, I've, I've seen large crushes before, but that one was a pretty darn big one. So I've seen up to 40 and 50 ducklings in a, in a crush before, but I don't think I've ever seen 70 before. Now, for those of us who are lacking in our ornithology, myself included, the thought of this mama duck having 76 little ones blew our minds. So much so, we, I, had to ignore my impulse to live in ignorance and ask, how in the duck does this thing have 76 spawn? What happens is, is one adult merganser takes the broods from a whole bunch of other mergansers, and they form this crush, which is what you're seeing in that picture. So it's one adult female with a whole bunch of different ducklings, some of which are hers and some of which came from other, uh, other ducks. Think of it like a giant daycare with the matriarch of the lake duck community in charge. This female that takes them is, is probably the oldest female on the lake or one of the oldest females on the lake. And with ducks, when the female has a brood, all the female ducklings go down south and eventually they come back to the same lake where they were born. And so all the ducks on Lake Bemidji are likely related to, to one another. Related and reliant on grandma to prevail in the villages parenting. She's probably the best one at how to raise these ducklings and so that's why the crash kind of works. It, it helps her to raise ducklings that are all related to her and it helps all these other ducks that aren't so good at raising ducklings to, to see how, uh, you know, to kind of drop them off with her and let her raise them. So you're a parent, right? Mm. I know you got hit in the feelings there. So you're a parent, you probably have like your parents or your wife's parents saying, you know what, actually let me tell you how to parent. Mm. This is kind of that. Yeah, so except, the grandparents take all the kids and are like, go away. We're gonna raise these babies. Mom and dad fly south. Yeah, yeah. And then they come back. Right. So they're on vacation. Pretty much, until there's, the ducks learn how to fly. Uh, there's snowbirds. No, there's no really snow, but they go down south and find a mate. There's a whole long story. And then they come back. Google it. Yes, but they in about like a month. They like parents to me, actually. Right? Listen to me. And about being so him. positive about it. Let's talk about this for a second. I can't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> That's in a beautiful story, though. Go ahead. In a month, <laughs> the ducks will learn to fly and do their own thing. Okay. All right. Cool. I think it's beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. The McGander and the crush crash. With the, it's awesome. Crash. Got it. <laughs>